Hello everyone, welcome to Lee Dynasty Kitchen. I'm very happy today to share with you another delicious Vietnamese dish called Chả Huế, Huế Pork Sauces. Normally we eat Chả Huế with a lot of dish, uh, but especially with the Bún Bò Huế, the Vietnamese spicy beef noodle, they always have Chả Huế. So um, with my way and my sharing today, you will find a very easy uh, way to make chả huế with this dream machine. Remember this machine? I have shared with you a few uh, yummy dish before. And again today, we're going to share with you how to make chả huế with a very easy way. So come on in, join me today, Lee Dynasty Kitchen, how to make chả huế. First of all, we're going to need two and a half pounds of ground pork and 200 grams of pork fat. We will need about 39 grams of sugar. So we're gonna put zero to the scale and then we're gonna measure. Uh, 39 grams of sugar is equal with 39 ml. Okay, this is very nice scale. They will tell you everything. 39 ml means 1.4 ounce. And then we put back to the uh, zero and then measure for the next one. So, uh, salt, 14 grams of the sea salt. 14 grams of sea salt equal with 14 ml. And next we're going to need 20 grams of cornstarch. Put back to zero and we're going to need 20 grams of cornstarch equal with 20 ml then it equal with 0.70 ounce so if you state out everything very clear put back to zero and we're going to need about uh, four grams of fish sauce any kind of fish sauce you can buy at um, the asian curry store 14 gram of garlic Equal with 14 ml is about approximately about five um, um, teaspoon. And next, we're gonna use uh, two gram of pepper, about one teaspoon. And I need five grams of ansa baking powder. And after that, don't forget four uh, tablespoon of the uh, water. Mix it up all well. Mix it up and uh, prepare to put to the meat and uh, stir it up nicely all together with the meat. Same like last time we make the uh, pork sauces. After that, we divide by three small pieces like this and put to the freezer. Next day or a few hours, as long they get uh, you know hot like this, so we take it out and we cut to the small pieces. Make sure the most important thing is meat always have to be kept cold. Never get warm, you know, or you know, or watery, or it have to be. If you can see like that, it have to be like this, like cut up hard. Okay, so we cut to the small pieces. So we uh, before grind, so it will be easier for the machine and. We always keep the meat cold. That's why the meat have to be frozen cold like this. Okay? So make sure that is a very, very important to make sauces. It have to be like this. So after that, we're going to start to grind it. Um, same like um, last video we sharing uh, last time. You scoop a little bit of the uh, meat only, and then put to the, the blender, the food processor, and then about, for the first time, about 25 to 30 uh, blades turn, you know? And after that, we stop the machine, and we're gonna make sure all the meat to come down to the, to the, the bowl, so it to get grinded evenly. Okay, so bring down all the meat to the bowl to make sure all evenly uh, grind. Okay, and then, you know, 
close the lid and then we continue for the next round about another 25 um, we play the turn just like that okay remember each time when you finish you can put in the plate put the meat on the plate and put back to the freeze to the fridge then you know grind another tap and then put in the plate and back to the fridge keep always the meat cold and you can see when you touch like this even while you grind the meat always still cold okay so and then we cover the lid and then maybe the last uh, the last round about another 20 25 and that's it the meat is done and ready to uh, to cook so each time you just make grind it and then put back to the fish that's way you know the meat always cold and that's what we want after we're done we're gonna um, start to make the sauces so scoop out a little bit of the meat okay and then um, slam down to the uh, curtain board few times slam down like that put a little bit oil in your hand and just slam down like that for the meat is stick together it's better okay and then just do another scoop slam down you know to make the textures better so after that you're gonna use your hand oil a little bit in your hand and then flat it down the meat flat it down and smooth it down at the same time uh, the meat against the tray flat it even with the thickness of the tray you know so all the meat evenly and flat down and stick together just like that smooth it out flat it out put some oil in your hand to make it more uh, smooth okay while you uh, flat out the meat like that okay the two scoop for the first one you uh, put on the tray of the meat there may not enough to cover the tray but that's okay don't worry you know we continue to make the next uh, a little bit more of the meat um, they will stick together because the meat already uh, very smooth and the texture is just perfect so they will stick together when you add it on so no worries Okay, so it looks like we need another, uh, a, li a little bit more meat here. So we continue to scoop a little bit and then slam down and uh, finish it off. Okay, so now we're going to have the final touch to uh, finish it off the tray before we uh, bring it to steamer. Okay, so smooth and flat down, cover all the corner, flat it smooth and uh, make it all even see it's very nicely done this way we're gonna have a nice big piece of the uh, sauces all evenly and all done nicely okay so after we flood it down everything the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna cover the banana leaf from the top to the surface of the meat okay after that we're gonna uh, flat down flat down with your uh, your hand there flat it down and slam it down slam it down more to make it more even flatter and you know stick together time to put in the steamer okay it take very fast to cook this uh, sauces so about 10-15 minutes we're gonna open the lid and bring it out okay no worry sometimes the banana leaf get uh, broken like this it's okay so after you bring it out you will find uh, there is some water on top of the banana leaf or on top of the uh, sauces so no worries we just use a um, piece of uh, paper towel and then wipe it out here we go we have a very nice pork sauces, Hue sauces, 
very yummy, very tasty. So just uh, wipe it out on the water on top of the uh, sausage, and then it's time to uh, take the, the cake out. It's still hot, so it's a little bit um, hard to take it out, but it's okay. All you do, just use the uh, scraper and cut a little bit on the side if it still stick together and then take it out. There we go. Nicely, beautifully, one yummy Hue sausage we just made. Okay, after that, the next step is um, we're going to use the knife. You're going to use the knife to uh, cut out a little bit around the four edges. You know why? Because we just want to make it look nice and straight, you know, at four sides. So when you uh, serve, when you display, it look better. It look way nicer. Okay? Just cut it out. But don't throw it away, okay? We're going to test it. You're going to put it in your mouth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're going to eat. You're going to try it. So cut out a little bit. Just look at that. It's very nice. Cut it out on four sides to get it evenly pieced. Now we halfway done for the Hue sauces. So as you know, um, when you finish uh, the sauces, you can uh, wrap it up and put in the uh, fridge. Look at how nice and beautifully done. So you can wrap it up on the and put in the fridge, or if you want to use it for longer time, you can just wrap it up uh, nicely and then put in the freezer. Every time you eat, you just bring it down to the fish and then warm it up if you want it hot. Look at how nice and flexible. This meaning is this sauces is going to be very, very yummy, the way of looking like this, okay? So we're going to cut this piece to half. We keep half at the steamer um, taste, and then the other half, we're going to fry it. So to just make, uh, have a different uh, a different thing to, to eat. Like you can eat with the um, this sub, you can eat with uh, hui, bún bò hui. Uh, it's a few different things you can eat with uh, hui sauces. Look at how nice is the piece. This is what you want to see. Flexible, nicely chewy, but it's very soft. Okay. So cut this piece to half. You can chew whatever way you want, which, which one you want, and then cut to half, and then we're going to fry it. So that way you can have a variety of, um, you know, sausage. So bring the oil to hot, to the high temperature, because the sauce is already cooked. So we just need some high temperature to, uh, to make it, you know, uh, yellow, to make it golden. Take very fast to fry. Okay, turn it over a few times. And that's it, we're done. Now we're gonna have two pieces of the fried sauces. Mmm, very yummy. Very yummy and very easy to make. Okay. It's all done, so we're gonna take it out. And we're going to finish the rest of the meat. Look very yummy, eh? Okay, the remain of the meat, we're going to do the same uh, few steps. Slam down the meat to the cutting board a few times. Okay, then I have the banana leaf already cut into small pieces like this. Okay, you one third of the uh, uh, spoon and then scoop the meat. Put on the top of the banana leaf, straight out a little bit longer, and wrap around just like this. Okay, fold it both end, fold it both end like that, and we will steam in the later on. It's very fast to steam. Uh, you don't have to boil, so just wrap around in a small piece like this. No need to make it bigger, and then it's very fast to cook anyway. Okay, one third of the uh, spoon and then scoop out the meat, put on top of the banana leaf, and then fold it both ends, just like this. 
fold it. The remain of the meat we gonna make about uh, I think seven, seven of roll like this. Okay, so I just do uh, four or five here, and then we will finish it up later. Roll over, fold it both end. That's it, and then done. Very easy. Then you can eat uh, after it's cooked. You can just. Uh, Hold a piece and eat just like that. You know, it's very nice and very yummy to eat it like that. Or you can eat with bún bò huế, cut to small piece and eat with the uh, soup, spicy uh, beef noodle soup. Yeah. There we go. We all done. Okay. We're gonna bring to steamer and finish it up. Uh, wrap in for the rest of the uh, the meat and then steam it up. So we're gonna do one more last time for you to see. First of all, we're gonna prepare the banana leaf. The banana leaf you can buy at any Asian grocery store. Okay, cut it the piece like that. Then start to do with the meat. <laughs>
Thank you very much for watching the video and thanks for all your support to Lee Dynasty Kitchen. I hope you like my share today and we'll try to do it at home so you can enjoy it. Okay, please share to friends, families, so anybody can make it and enjoy it at home. Nothing better than homemade. Vietnamese Hue sauces is very yummy, very delicious. You can eat with a lot of other dishes. With two and a half pound meat today, you're gonna make quite a few of sauces. And the most important thing is very clean. You know exactly what you eat because you make it your own. Thanks again for support Lee Dynasty Kitchen. And please don't forget to subscribe the channel so you can see any new videos coming up. Thank you very much and have a good day.